Hello and welcome back. Fellow PowerShell engineers, we are now going to be scraping HTML using Invoke Web Request. And so Invoke Web Request can be for, used further to scrape data from web pages by loading the content of a web page into a PowerShell variable. Again, with a single invocation of Invoke Web Request, we can load an entire web page into a PowerShell variable as an object. And it's actually simpler than downloading a file because there's just one fewer parameter. Um, well, that's sort of true. Well, I, uh, using the use basic parsing parameter doesn't, you know, it's supplied a value, right? So um, let's go ahead and load a uh, Pokemon. We're going to go to Bulba Garden. And let's just find Bulbasaur. Actually, let's get a list of Pokemon. Um, yeah, go by the Pokemon number. I like that. So, say if we wanted to get a, all the URLs out of this, we could simply take this URL right here. And now we can go load that into Pokemon. A variable named Pokemon, and we'll do invoke web request. Do the URI. Use basic parsing. We'll see all the bytes reading in right there. And now we've got the Pokemon variable. So if we take a look at that, we see we've got our links, we've got input fields, form headers, the raw content, all sorts of things here that we have now got the, the content uh, and raw content, parsed HTML, and then the content length. So a lot of stuff there, but we can dig even deeper by treating this now, this page now as an object, right? So we can use the Pokemon dot links to get all of the URLs in it. And now we see every URL that's inside of the page that we've parsed using invoke web request. So it's quite a bit of URLs. It's URL for every Pokemon that we've pulled through. So, pretty useful. Let's parse out all of the anchor tags, tags into individual properties of the links property. So while this is useful, we may actually just want the contents of each individual href, right? Because we don't really need the a tag here. So we can actually just pipe the results of that using the select object uh, that specifies the href. So we can do that with taking our result here, typing it, to select and select href and bam now we've got every single href value given back to us and we could actually do this do whatever we want with this you know we could loop through these and uh, we could actually even shoot them out to a file if we needed them if you wanted to say scrape those into a particular A file. So we'll put them in Pokemon URLs text. And if we go take a look, we've got Pokemon URLs text right there, and we've got all of our links into a file. Perfectly exported. So in this example, the text file is written to, and we can confirm the contents by using get content as well, but I just open it graphically. So Though it may be possible that we just want to scrape URLs from the page, there's also a use case for the searching for specific patterns. So we could easily do that with a for loop or any type of loop now that we have these in this format, right? So that's about it for pulling files from the using, uh, or sorry, scraping HTML using invoke web request. So let's go ahead and move on to the next lesson.